Okay, so let's have a look at how we actually create courses. So remember, you're down as your user. Just make sure before you try and do this that under users, here I am. Just going to go and look at my roles. Yeah, I've got the Netacad instructor role, so that's fine. I also know that because if I go up to the top here, I've got an I'm teaching tab. So I've come to the I'm teaching tab, and what I want to do now is go and create a course. So the first thing I would do is check which academy I'm under. Again, most of you will be under one academy, so that's pretty straightforward. As we've said in the notes, you're not going to be able to create IT Essentials classes, anything that starts CCNA or CCMP, or the Networking Essentials course. Um, but virtually everything else, we're pretty sure you should be able to create. So I'm going to go and pick one as an example. I'm going to go and pick this uh, Linux and Hatch, which is a real introductory course to Linux. I click on that, come down and hit continue. Now the fact that I've been able to select it there doesn't mean I necessarily can run it. There might be a, an option uh, to select the language. Some courses are designed for um, non-English speakers, so there might not be an English language option. Uh, create your course ID and your course name. We tend to do these the same no matter what. Do your start date and your end date. Uh, most courses can run for a minimum of six, a uh, maximum of six months, so you need to set those apart. A descriptional description there is what users will see when they log in, and then most important here is your instructors, and you need to be able to look at this list. It's obviously put me in already. Uh, I'm clicking the drop down. There's no other instructors at our academy, so yes, it looks like I can create the course. So based on that, I could now hit continue and I'd actually be able to create that course. Okay, so now I've populated all the fields, uh, today's date to start and up to 31st of December, filled in all the options, selected the instructor and hit continue. And this now will actually go ahead and create the course. So it's been created now and what I can do is I can save it as a draft. So when I now save it as a draft, what you'll see is let's just go back to my netacad and i'm teaching so we can see where it is under courses i'm teaching there it is it's a linux course that we've just created we can click in the course launch doesn't start it it gets us into the course we can launch the course here and we can have a look what the course looks like it's a demo linux course here's the uh, start page if we go to modules, we'll see uh, what the course looks like. Course contents all in one chapter there. If we want to go into that chapter, we can click on course content. And this particular course, I'm going to guess the actual content is all stored outside in uh, an external um, server. Let's just click on it. It looks like it's going to take me somewhere external. Yep, yeah, it's uh, gone off. Oh, there's a legal requirement. First of all, it looks like I've got to sign some agreement to gain access to this course. Um, so I'm just going to agree to the NDG um, rules. And that's it, I've done that. So close the window and relaunch. So just close my window and relaunch course. Come back up to home. On modules again and here we go it looks like now we're um, coming into the course the course content and yeah it looks like it's taking me off to Amazon Web Services where obviously this particular course is hosted And yeah, so all the content now is actually off on another site. And uh, there you go. So you've got your, your your basic course that's been created. Let's just go back um, out of here now. It's going to go back to my Netcad and go back to my teaching tab just to look at the top level of the course again. So notice here you had launch course, you had course details, and we've got this thing publish course. 
because at the moment it's in draft so even if students were enrolled in here nobody could see it because it's in the draft mode at the moment under course details here what you'll be able to see is at the top who your instructor is if you want to add more instructors you can edit the details and put more people in here at the top level but obviously what you might want to do is add students to this course and we can click here and we can add students or import them as CSVs uh, import them from other courses and do a weird seat token thing so that's basically how we go and create courses okay let's just go back and have a look at the teaching tab what happens if things had not gone quite so well so let's go back to create another course now let's go and do this um, community community computing for schools pilot which is one you should have access to we click on that course we hit continue and here under the instructors I click the drop down and there's nobody uh, available here that means nobody's eligible to teach this course uh, and that's obviously because of a, a problem in the system you need to go to the discussion group and let us know about that but what you might do similarly I'm just going to go back from there let's just go and try and create a course again let's take another one so CCNA written switch which you've got to be uh, certified to teach just saying if we hit continue there so miss the button hit continue there yeah I've got a, a language version option first of all so I'm going to go for there and add an instructor and again no instructors appearing and that's because you have to have gone through an instructor training process to be able to teach those courses and have uh, thousands of pounds worth of equipment to teach uh, CCNA courses okay so that's basically the um, introduction to how you go and create courses